Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Wednesday morning, it is the 12th day of December. Rich here at uh, 4 o'clock in the morning with temperatures already at 29 degrees, and we're still two and a half hours away from uh, sunrise, so the temperature will come down just a little bit more. How did you like yesterday? That was a nice change, huh? We actually got into the 50s yesterday with that sunshine, and I think we'll tack on about five more degrees today. But we are looking at this formidable storm system on the way. We have much to talk about this morning. I have the latest on intensity and timing on that storm system as it gets here on Thursday night and influences our weather at least through Friday. But will it move out of the way in time? For all the big events coming up on Saturday, including, you know, Christmas on the Coosa and the, the Camellia Bowl and many other events going on on Saturday, I have the latest details on the weekend forecast. And I've been telling you from some time now, the entire nation is about to undergo a significant pattern change as winter takes a break and cold air retreats for a while, not just for us, but probably for the whole nation. High pressure near the Big Bend area of Florida gives us a return flow today. That means southwesterly winds. That means a warmer day with high temperatures in the upper 50s today. A few high clouds, so I'll call it partly sunny. Even the nights are warmer with those southwesterly winds. Tonight's low 43. So a pretty good day today. And then here's no, tomorrow at noon. It becomes windy. It's a warmer day. I think there could be a late day shower in the area. And uh, we'll be watching that storm system out to the west of us with high temperatures here in the lower 60s, but even some 70s along the Texas Gulf Coast. Fuel for the fire because the Storm Prediction Center says some of the storms tomorrow out to the west of us in Louisiana and Mississippi could be strong, possibly severe, and even a marginal risk into uh, coastal Alabama by Friday morning. This is the Thursday 6 p.m. setup, a potent storm system out to the west of us. It becomes windy, windy Thursday night. I think the best chance of showers and maybe a few thunderstorms will be in the overnight hours Thursday. There's a snapshot at midnight Thursday night. And then the storm system moves east. This is Friday Friday morning at 6 a.m. showing the frontal system in West Alabama moving on eastward. That's when the best chance of rain will be. Later in the day, some scattered showers just about any time on Friday uh, under the upper low, which will be moving across the state by that time. And even on Saturday, there's enough wraparound moisture where there's a small rain chance, a tiny rain chance in the Saturday forecast. Otherwise, a pretty good day for Christmas on the Coosa, uh, the rescheduled event, and the Camellia Bowl. You know, I've got a small rain chance in at 4 and 6 p.m. at 20 percent. Temperatures will be falling from about 55 into the 40s by the end of that game, but it should be a pretty good game for the nationally televised Camellia Bowl. Then on Sunday, best day of the weekend with high temperatures at least around 60 and plenty of sunshine. I think Monday's nice as well. I've got the high around 61 on Monday with plenty of sunshine. And, and let's review. Rain chances start at 30% tomorrow, but go up to 90% uh, tomorrow night into the overnight hours. 70% chance of showers on Friday with a high around 57. And then Saturday, upper 50, small rain chance. Sunday's the best day of the weekend. Monday looks really good as well. High, highs both days right around 61. Let's look ahead. This is the GFS out 16 days. And I want to show you that pattern change we've been talking about. Very mild air day after day after day for uh, not just for us, but for a large part of the country. In fact, take a look at this map. This is Tuesday, December 18th. Uh, the cold air has left America, <laughs> at least for a few days. Uh, so no cold air anywhere in the country. A big change to milder pattern. This is a um on Friday, December 20, uh, 21st, it shows most of the nation will be still in that warm regime, at least for now. Uh, how long will that go? Well, we don't know yet. We're going to continue to keep an eye on it as we get closer to Christmas Day. There will be no video tomorrow morning, but there will be a blog update. Let me explain. The uh, office Christmas party is tonight. And so instead of setting the alarm to get up at 1.30 a.m. to make a video, I'll set it a little bit later and do a blog update, which can be produced a little quicker. All right, does that sound reasonable? There'll be another video for you first thing Friday morning, and I will be live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. And your forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the entire Blue Water family of stations. Enjoy this great weather day today, and uh, I'll see you later.